to show you guys that there's still good stuff happening during the pandemic. So, with that being said, let's get started. All right. Let me turn this around. All right, so this is the MJKO website, as you can see. All right. Uh, if you do have some disposable income, please consider donating to MJKO. You can go to MGKO dossier. There's a donate button in the top right. And you click that, it'll take you to the donation page and it's pretty straightforward. All right, so our first story uh, coming out of Kentucky. Kentucky school surprised a little girl by including a photo of her service dog in the yearbook. Ooh, so there is the picture. Wow. So an elementary school in Kentucky saved a special spot in the yearbook for his, uh, one of his very good girl, Ariel, a service dog. So St. Patrick Catholic School in Louis, Louisville surprised a seven-year-old uh, Hadley Jo Lange by including a photo of her Labrador doodle among his kindergarten class. Wow. Very cool. All right. Next story. Another animal one. All right. Uh from Global News. So, huge owls hatches outside chicks. Uh, what's up, JR Mancer? How's it going? Just sharing some good news from all over the world. All right, so this owl hatches some chicks outside this man's window and they're watching TV with them. These are chicks? They're huge, jeez. All right, so let's take a short and watch at this video. Jos Paard woont op Driehoog en als hij televisie kijkt, kijken er drie wilde dieren mee. Tot zijn verbijstering is de grootste el van Europa gaan nestelen in de plantenbak voor zijn raam. De oehoe. Een bijzondere el die zich normaal bijna niet laat filmen. En dit alles tot grote vreugde van Jos, want in de plantenbak scharrelen nu ook drie reuze kuikens. Kijk. Ik kan eens kijken, zitten ze er nou nog wel? Oh ja, ze zitten nog. Ja, 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 ze zitten nog. In eerste instantie was Jos bang voor duiven in zijn plantenbak. Hij begon dan uh, om een uur of negen. Half negen. Mm. Mm. En ik dacht, verdomme weer die duiven. Uh, ja, dat zijn mijn vrienden. <laughs> vrienden niet. En dan heb ik een keer, was ik ook iets eerder thuis, ik dacht, nou ga ik eens kijken wat er nou zit. En uh, dan vloog zij weg. Dat was heel de week al. Die uil, die zat te roepen. Dat is uh, voor mij ook 24 uur film, hè? Ja, als je zo uh, s morgens wakker wordt en uh, ze zitten zo weer al voor het raam. Dat is geweldig, hè? Praat u wel eens tegen ze? Ja hoor. <laughs> Wat zegt u dan? Huh? Wat zegt u dan? Hé, hey, jongens. Hé, hey. ja. Ja, want zou het een tanden hoe kunnen zijn? Dat kan ik niet zeggen. Dat zou kunnen. Wow. I thought owls were uh, nocturnal. Interesting. And there is this next story out of Europe. So the European Union commits 20 billion dollars a year to protect the environment. All right, so. This next article piggybacks on that and tells us the breakdown. All right, so the key actions that they aim for 50% less pesticides, 20% less fertilizers, plus 25% organic farming, minus 50% less antibiotics and farming, reduce, reduce food waste and fraud, and protect animals. So, very cool, $20 billion a year to uh, achieve that, very good by the EU. All right, this next one, all right, it's called the We Are One Film Festival. All right, it is free on YouTube. All right, due to the COVID-19, there's no more film festivals. So they put it all online for this one free event. All right, so starting today to June 7th, as you can see, they already uploaded day one, a lot of short films, as you can see here. All right, so go take a look if you are a big, uh, you know, movie fan. All right, this next story. From Singapore, a uh, Singapore study shows that COVID-19 patients are not infectious after 11 days. So COVID-19 patients are no longer infectious after 11 days of getting sick, even though some may still test positive according to a new study by infectious disease experts in Singapore. So I think, yes, this is the uh, study. So 
if you want to go take a look, you can search that up. So very good news. All right, next story from Pizza Hut. Our right, Pizza Hut giving away uh, 500,000 free pizzas to 2020 grads. Wow. 500,000 to seniors graduating in 2020. I'm not sure how they're going to fact check if you're graduating, but you know, I feel like a few people are going to take advantage. All right, this next one from Denver. All right, a walking customer leaves Denver hairstylist a $2,500 tip for a cut and before leaving another $3,300 for staff at the salon after it was closed for nearly two months. Wow. So, of course, uh, barbershops and hair salons are were closed for a long time and people, you know, hair are getting outrageous. So, I guess this guy is rich and he gave a hefty tip. Wow. Good on the customer. All right, next story from New York. New York, one day coronavirus death toll drops below 100. So that's good news because they were above 100 for a long time. So New York Governor Andrew Cuomo said Saturday that the state's single death toll from coronavirus fell below 100 for the first time in weeks. Wow. So 84 people passed away. That's still uh, too much. Hopefully we can get that down to zero soon enough. All right. Next story, out of Vietnam. Vietnam is very on top of it. All right, Vietnam records no new COVID-19 infections in community for 38 days. That's over a month. Man, seems like Vietnam, Singapore, Taiwan, and South Korea all have it pretty much under control, which is good news. Hopefully, they can teach the rest of the world. All right, this next story from India. All right, this girl who peddled her injured dad across India offered a national team try. All right, so let's take a read. All right, so in India, a 15-year-old girl who peddled her injured migrant worker father more than 1,000 kilometers across India after coronavirus lockdown left them destitute has been invited to try out for the national cycling team. Wow. So they arrived home May 16th after covering 1,200 kilometers in seven days. Wow, that's insane. Hopefully, uh, she makes the cycling team. It also caught the attention of the Cycling Federation of India, which offered uh, her a chance to try out for the country's team. Wow, she covered the distance in seven days with her father and some luggage too. Wow, that is insane. Wow, good on her. All right, this next story from East Texas, from Matthew McConaughey, the actor. All right, so everyone knows Matthew McConaughey. He and his wife delivers masks to rural hospitals in Texas. All right, so let's see. All right, so according to a Facebook post from McConaughey, Thursday night, uh, he donated 110,000 masks for hospitals in need. Wow, good on him. You know, we reported a while ago, a few weeks ago, on uh, Matthew McConaughey, he was hosting Seniors Bingo on Zoom. So good to see him still uh, helping out. All right, this next story uh, from Pakistan, Cher, the singer, all right, artist, uh, sheds a tear of joy as Pakistan's loneliest elephant wins his freedom, all right? So Kavan, that's the elephant's name, a 33-year-old elephant living in sorry existence in Islamabad Zoo is to be released after a campaign by Pop Icon. All right, so let's take a read. So in plate of an animal known as Pakistan's loneliest elephant is set to come to an end after a court declared that he should be freed from Islamabad, sorry, Islamabad Zoo, the delight of the longtime champion pop icon Cher. Wow, so she uh, uh, she got wind of it and, you know, she fought for his freedom. That's very good, you know, and elephants are very social animals. So good on Cher. All right, next story. Rare whistling dog spotted in 50 years. Okay, so let's see. After nearly five decades, the rare Asiatic wild dog has been sighted in wild Gujarat. So, interesting. That's what they look like. Okay, let's see. So, it was known that the whistling dog, due to his particular contact call, was sometime in 1970. Wow. 1970. 
That is 50 years. 1970. That's 50 years ago. Wow. Interesting. All right. This next, this picture. All right. So this picture shows bottlenose dolphins spotted in Finnish waters for first time in nearly 70 years. That's insane. So, you know, a lot of uh, reduction in pollution is cleaning our air, the waters and everything. And the animals are rejoicing and being seen, you know, and however long they haven't been seen. So 70 years since uh, bottlenose dolphins have been spotted in Finnish waters. Wow. All right, this next story. Ooh, this one's good. Heartwarm heartwarming moment between a pet donkey uh, and his owner after you know being reunited after two months without seeing each other during the Spanish, sp sorry, Spain's coronavirus lockdown. All right, so there's a video. We can take a look at that. Aldo. Hola. Que pasa? Hola. Donde esta? Oye. Que hace? Hola. Que pasa? Donde esta mi burrilla? Donde esta? Eh? Que pasa? Eh? Donde esta metida? O más bien donde estaba yo? Que? ¿Qué pasa? Oh, qué tontería. Oye, ¿qué? ¿Qué? Ay, yo también te he echado de menos, eh. Ay, 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 ay. Wow. I think the uh, the donkey was also happy to see him. So as you can see, this is the owner and his donkey. You know. They uh so this uh video went kind of viral and uh he made a Instagram profile for his donkey. So as you can see, that's him and his donkey. Very cool. You know, I wonder how that donkey ate in those two months that they didn't see each other. But that's the, besides the point. Anyways, this next story from the Wall Street Journal, all right? So Wuhan tests 9 million people for coronavirus in 10 days. That's insane. All right, so this is from uh, four days ago, May 25th, as you can see. So the central city of Wuhan said earlier Monday that it had collected uh, swab tests from more than 9 million of its 11 million uh, people over the past 10 days. In an ambitious response to the reemergence of a handful of fresh cases. That's insane, 10 million. In Canada, last I checked, we have, we've had just over 9 million people tested. And we did that over like two months. And so they did 10 million, sorry, 9 million in 10 days. Wow. Insane. Anyways, so this next story from South Korea. All right. Uh, so no mass, no public transport to take effect uh, Tuesday. So Tuesday has already passed. So starting Tuesday, people without uh, face masks will be barred from taking bus, taxi, subway, train, and nationwide measure to prevent spread of coronavirus through public transport. All right, the measure will be extended to airline passengers, domestic and international lines from Wednesday. This will be entitled to ban people not wearing masks. All right, to make sure the system works, the government will not penalize operators based on complaints from people who are refused permission to board. Uh, this measure will be helpful in containing the spread of the coronavirus through public transport, said the Center for Disease Control and Prevention in a statement. Okay, cool, cool. All right, good on South Korea. All right, so this one from the U.S. Uh, milkmen are making a comeback. So old-fashioned milkmen makes the rounds as the U.S. shoppers stay home. All right, so old-fashioned milkmen, do they have more pictures? I think they do. Do they? Yes, they do. 
Perfect. So, old fashioned milkman. Wow, and they got the truck. Okay. So, very cool, very cool. All right. So, this next uh, article. So, there is a pilot study at the University of Helinski. Uh, dogs can smell COVID-19. So if that's true and you can train dogs, that's a very, very good development. So let's see, trained tracking dogs. What can dogs not do, am I right? Anyways, this next story out of Taiwan. Okay. So Taiwan was so ready for pandemic that it only had seven deaths. Obviously, you hope that no one passes away, but seven's a very low number. All right. With a population of 24 billion. That's about two thirds of Canada. And they only had seven deaths. Interesting. Despite it being only 80 miles from mainland China. Yes. Taiwan, very on top of it because in Asian culture, it is normal to wear a mask, as you can see. All right. So 103-year-old Massachusetts woman beats coronavirus and celebrates with a Bud Light. All right. So here she is with her Bud Light. Wow. Uh, why, yes, I am. I find this article pretty, pretty funny. You know, the staff gave her an ice cold Bud Light to celebrate something she loved but hadn't had in a long time. Wow. I bet Bud Light's gonna come out of the woodworks and, you know, sponsor her with free beer. That'll be a, another feel good story. All right, this next story from IKEA Germany. IKEA Germany gives up car park uh, for 800 Muslims to perform Eid periods. All right, so let's take a look. şimdiden mübarek olsun. Rabbim nice bayramlara sevdiklerimizle birlikte ulaşmayı hepimize lütfeylesin. Azbillahimineşşeytanirracim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Değerli kardeşlerim, hepinizin mübarek Ramazan bayramını tebrik eder. Good on IKEA Germany, you know, for giving up the car park. As you can see, most of the people who were praying were, you know, at least uh, six feet apart, right? And they're all wearing masks, so good on them. All right, so U.S. Air Force removes height requirements to attract more female pilots. What was the height requirement? All right, so previously the Air Force had uh, officer applicants who wished to fly between 5'4 and 6'5 with a setting height of 34 to 40 inches. Okay, under the adjusted policy, which went into effect May 13th, applicants who are shorter than 5'4 or taller than 6'5 will no longer be required to submit a waiver. Okay, that's very specific. That's like a one foot variance. 5'4 to 6'5 is the requirement. So now if you're shorter than 5'4 or taller than 6'5, you can apply, interesting. All right, that's good. All right, next one, NHL. Toronto Maple Leafs are still in the hunt for the Stanley Cup as NHL un unveils their 2020 playoffs. All right, so the season hasn't ended, but they, you know, they're just like, you know what, let's just skip the rest of the season. There was only a few games left, going straight into the playoffs. So we made it, boys. Maple Leafs, let's go. All right, so the Leafs will be uh, will face Columbus when and if uh, the playing games begin. So let's take a look at the first bracket. Columbus. So we're the eighth seed versing 
the ninth seed. All right, I think we got some good chances now. Very cool. All right, next story from Australia. An Australian uh, wildlife park welcomes its first baby koala after the devastating bushfires. As everyone knows, in early January, uh, a lot of the uh, wilderness in Australia uh, suffered from massive, massive wildfires. It was like very widespread. They had to call in help from a lot of other countries, but it's been dealt with and taken care of. But of course, a lot of animals have been displaced and this is some good news. Australian wildlife welcomes his first baby koala. Interesting, very cute, very cute. Can we get a zoom in? No, all right. Very cute indeed. All right, so seven local animals make a comeback in clean waters. All right, let's take a look. Let's take a look. All right, bald eagles make a comeback. So in 1970s, bald eagles and other fish-eating birds uh, like osprey, blue heron, but had all died out in their region when recovery efforts in 1977, locals set a goal of 300 nesting pairs. Okay, so today estimates are over 3,000. Ooh, nice. All right, this is obviously America. All right, so American shad. All right, this is a fish. So in the Potomac River and the success region success story. All right, do they give numbers on how many came back? No. All right, seahorses are coming back. That's a small seahorse. Ooh, blue crabs. In 2019, local blue crabs are at the most plentiful in seven years. Ooh, nice. Beavers. Oh, yeah. Let's go, beavers. Ravens. In 2016, for the first time in 100 years, a raven nest was spotted in the district. Where is this? On the East Coast. Okay. Horseshoe crabs. I didn't know they were... Uh, oh. I didn't know they were low numbers. Anyways, this next story. Last story of the day. Okay, from Arnold Schwarzenegger. All right, he has a pet donkey. What is it with people and pet donkeys? That's very cool, you know? Pet donkey and a pet mini horse. I guess you could call it a pony. All right, so let's take a look. So this is them after they took a bath. Man, Arnold's property is huge. A huge field and a tennis court, wow. Must be a, a pretty easy lockdown for Arnold, you know, just living it up in luxury with his pet donkey and his, you know, pet mini horse. Look at them living it up. Wow, very cool. All right, we're gonna cut it there. It's a pretty long video. All right, so to finish off, if uh, any of you are going through a hard time, some mental difficulties, uh, please consider a uh, kid's help phone if you are a youth, all right? So you can text, phone, or live chat them on their website, all right? This next resource is not age specific, all right? But it's for youth and adults and frontline workers, all right? So you can go to Wellness Together Canada. All right, you can text them, their text. All right, and you can also call them, I believe. But anyways, uh, you can also visit website, Wellness Together Canada. All right, so again, if you are, if you do have some disposable income, please consider donating to MJKO. All right, you can go to mjko.ca, click the donate button in the top right, and it'll take you to the don donation page. All right, very easy, very simple. 
All right. Of course, support yourself and your family before supporting us. All right. What's up, JR Mancer? I feel like that's is that Jonathan? All right. So we're gonna end the live stream there. Hopefully, everyone has a good day. Take care and be safe.